The Seahawks are seven and three following the bye week under head coach Pete Carroll. They will look to extend that record this week in prime time against the Arizona Cardinals. Jen Mueller and John Boyle with you for our key matchups. And John, you have to start with a player that stands out every time you watch the Cardinals. It is Kyler Murray against this entire Seahawks defense. It really is going to be a group effort. As Pete Carroll said, you can't watch this team without watching Kyler Murray. Not only can he make some big throws down the field, he's got a great arm, he's got great weapons like DeAndre Hopkins, but he is a great runner. KJ Wright said he might be the quickest player they see all season. He leads the NFL amongst quarterbacks in rushing yards, and he leads all NFL runners at 7.3 yards per carry. So really dangerous player that everyone's going to have to account for. I think one of the other intriguing matchups that we're looking at is DK Metcalf against Patrick Peterson. We have seen that before, and I think DK has learned some lessons from that past experience. Yeah, last year in the second game between these teams, Patrick Peterson followed DK Metcalf around the whole game. DK Metcalf did not have a catch. Now, that's not all on DK Metcalf. As Brian Schottenheimer said, the offense just had a hard time getting going that day. But DK Metcalf also said he's learned from that game, studied the tape, and he's just a more consistent player this year. Case in point, Stephon Gilmore, the reigning defensive player of the year over in New England, covered him throughout that game, and he still had four catches for 92 yards and a touchdown. He has over 90 yards in every game. So I don't think we're going to see DK Metcalf kept off the stat sheet. But as Metcalf himself said, if they do a good job keeping him in check, that's just going to be more opportunity for Tyler Lockett and company. You never want to waste a red zone opportunity, but John, I think in this game, that becomes even more apparent when you look at the numbers. Exactly. Both these teams have been the best in the NFL in the red zone this year. Seahawks have converted 88.9% of their red zone chances into touchdowns. Cardinals just behind them at 80%. A lot of that has to do with the two quarterbacks, two of the best in the game. The six rushing touchdowns for Kyler Murray really show up in the red zone, and we all know what Russell Wilson's doing this year. Defensively, Cardinals are off to a great start. They're second in the league in scoring defense, and a big part of that is their red zone defense. They're allowing touchdowns on only 41% of opponent trips into the red zone. Seahawks have been solid, not quite as strong, but they're allowing touchdowns on 64% of opponent trips. So whoever wins that red zone battle could very well come out on top this week. Well, the Seahawks will look to improve their record to 6-0 and to start the season. You can listen to that game on the Seahawks radio network and make sure that you read everything John Boyle posts at Seahawks.com.